there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Coaster Charlie, YouTube channel, Doncaster born, but built for theme park news. And welcome to this theme park news update from Kennywood. Now, this is all about their 2020 attraction when the park is set to reopen after the coronavirus pandemic. And this is all about the new logo release for the revamped and new twisted old mill that's set to come back to re-theme the Garfield's Nightmare Flume ride. Now, the original theme is returning and we're going to be discussing all the details and keeping you up to speed with what's happened recently with this new attraction. So make sure, guys, you like the video if you've loved it. Comment down below your thoughts as well. Subscribe to the channel. Please keep subscribing. Share with your friends, family and social media as well. Uh, please share this channel around guys because more subscriptions means I'm getting closer and closer to my dream my YouTube dream of getting my first play button now I think you get your first play button a hundred a hundred thousand subs. I'd love to get that play button um, In the next five ten years. It'd be great uh, Please keep getting questions in for our next Q&A when we celebrate our next sub milestone which will be two two thousand subscribers Use the hashtag question before or after your question and for now guys, let's get into this video. So let's start by sharing with you the brand new logo and also sharing with you the facts and stats that we know about this new 2020 development at Kennywood. So on your screen right about now, Fandabidozi is the brand new logo for Old Mill. Now, Old Mill was the original theme for this attraction. Um, and of course, the retirement of Garfield's Nightmare pushes the re-theme of the attraction. So... The theme over the cartoon cat overlay put on the park's Old Mill Flume Ride for the past 15 years. And they've not confirmed exactly what they'll do with it or what the new name will be until we got the official confirmation of the Old Mill returning. Now elsewhere in the park, the old floral clock will return in a new location near the entrance to Lost Kennywood. There'll be a celebration of the Jack Rabbit's 100th birthday, the opening of the Steelers experience in the Steelers country area. Uh, which is, of course, the new area that was introduced last year, along with the opening of their brand new multi looper coaster by SNS Steel Curtain. And, of course, along with other improvements on, on the way to the park, restrooms, pathways, and parking lot. For those with family members with special needs, they're also introducing a new quiet room added to the, in place of the former Phantom's Revenge gift shop. So, it's very nice that they're doing that. And the Pounce, Bounce and Orbiter have also been removed from the Kiddyland area of the park. So, the park have confirmed that the former Garfield's Nightmare Ride will reopen this season as the Old Mill. And they confirm the attraction will return to the previous western theme it previously had, but updates to include new twists for a new generation of fans to enjoy. So, as you can already see on your screen, that is the new logo for the Old Mill. And I'm really happy with it. It sort of gives me like Sheriff Showdown, Take Back to the West, but in a very sort of Day of the Dead, more hardcore, edgy look to it, which I think is a very nice touch for Kennywood. It's a very good looking logo, as you can already see on your screen. Comment down below what you guys think to the new logo. Looks brilliant. Now, I love the fact that goes providing brand new modern twists for a brand new generation. Now, I'm going to be sort of discussing and predicting my thoughts to what those new twists could be. So with the new twists then, I think it could be something as simple as new lighting, projection mapping, something as simple as that to really add to the experience. Now, I think the scenes, the original scenes from the original Old Mill Ride will return. They could introduce a couple of new scenes maybe to replace some, some other ones. Maybe some couple, couple of the old scenes might not come back and they may introduce some brand new scenes, uh, which could really push the brand new lighting, projection mapping, sound effects everything like that maybe i don't think they're going to be retracking any of it or anything like that there's not going to be like any new sort of retract final drop finale or something like that but i do believe that i think there's some some twists that we might not expect maybe we could see some uh 3d projections and not just projection mapping so I'd like to see some holograms and some projection mapping. I think that Kennywood are well capable of that. I think the theming is going to be courageously improved. The logo on the front of the entrance sign outside of the building for the ride and outside the ride's attraction site. I think the logo on the front of the entrance will be brilliant. It will shine in the sunlight uh, and it will drizzle in the rain. <laughs> uh, but 
overall, guys, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I think it's going to be a brilliant looking attraction. I think Kenny Woods done a really good job here. You've got to think, you know, last year in 2019, they introduced this brand new multi looper coaster theme to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm not the biggest NFL fan, but. I, I do follow the NFL from time to time. I do follow the likes of Tom Brady and Odell Beckham Jr., etc. Uh, and, you know, I have seen NFL. I've played a few uh, Madden games and things like that. Uh, so, you know, it's not it's not bad. I, I know a little bit about it, so I know about the Steelers. So, for me personally, it is a good thing to go for because it is, you know, local to the Pennsylvania area, the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. Um... So I think they've done a really good job with that. I think that the this new attraction for this year, the the revamped and returning old mill, I think Garfield's Nightmare for the last fifty for the last few years out of its fifteen year lifespan has been very out of date in many fans' eyes that have actually ridden the ride. And I think that many fans have agreed that now is the time for Garfield's Nightmare to be, you know, rethemed. And I think that bringing back the old mill rather than going with an IP, another IP or a different theme is a the right way to go. And I like that parks have sort of gone back to old roots nowadays. Obviously, Knott's Berry Farm bringing back Knott's Berry Tales to replace Voice of the Iron Reef uh, for this season. So, you know, it's it's a very good move to bring back a nostalgic old ride. Maybe, maybe Alton Towers should start doing that. Maybe bring back Dynamo <laughs> or Toyland Tours or something when the dungeon contract runs out. Um, but, no, 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 I'm joking. But, I think that Kenny will bring back a nostalgic old theme in a brand new way, similar to what other parks have done in the last few years, I think is a good route to go down. Um, so I really like this. I really hope this goes down well, and I hope you guys uh, that are out there to ride it when the parks reopen after the coronavirus has calmed down, the whole situation's under control. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I, I can't wait to hear more details about this and what exactly will be the new twists and what we hear about the new twists uh, to bring this ride into a brand new generation. So I'm very excited. Thank you very, very much for watching this theme park news update on Kennywood. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, I'm Coach Shell. Keep on the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.